notes have two sounds each, but they don't sound the same. One is short, yeah, real short. The other one's long and says its name. So the short A says I, 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 apple. And the long A says A, 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 acorn. The short E says eh, 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 elephant. And the long E says E, 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 eagle. The short I says eh, 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 insect. And the long I says I, 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 island. Let's take a break. Here we go. The short O says ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh, ostrich, and the long O says oh 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 oatmeal. The short U says ah 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 umbrella, and the long U says you 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 unicorn. Vowels have two sounds each. They don't sound the same. One is short, yeah, real short. The other one's long and says its name. A sentence begins with a capital letter. A capital letter is a letter that's big. A capital letter is not a small letter. A capital letter is big, big, big. A sentence ends with a period, or an exclamation, or a question mark. A sentence always ends with a period, or an exclamation, or a question mark. So, my dog is great. Is a sentence, the M is a capital, yeah, that's right. My dog is great is a sentence it ends with a period that's right and do you like bugs is a sentence the d is a capital yeah it's big but do you like bugs is also a question therefore it ends with a question mark and also there is a monster is a sentence the t is a capital yeah it's big there is a monster has a strong feeling so therefore it ends with an exclamation mark a sentence begins with a capital letter A capital letter is a letter that's big A capital letter is not a small letter A capital letter is big, big, big A sentence ends with a period Or an exclamation or a question mark A sentence always ends with a period or an exclamation, or a question mark. Yeah. Hi, I am a period. I am used at the end of a complete thought. I am a question mark, right? Does anyone have any questions? I am an exclamation mark! I am used for strong feelings! I am excited! Woohoo! I am a comma. I am used to make a pause between thoughts, and also to list things. I like cookies, cupcakes, and cucumbers. Yikes! What is that? I have no idea. I like cookies. Cupcakes and cucumbers. Above, below, in front of, behind, 
Above, below, in front of, behind Keep on listening to the rhyme about Above, below, in front of, behind Now the bat is above the cat Just like the cat is below the bat And the rat is now in front of the cat Just like the cat is behind the rat Let's sing that one more time But this time, you sing with me Now the bat is above the cat Just like the cat is below the bat and the rat is now in front of the cat, just like the cat is behind the rat. Inside, outside, beside, between. Inside, outside, beside, between. Keep on listening, you'll know what I mean. Inside, outside, beside, between. Now the rocks are inside the box. Now the rocks are outside the box. And the fox is beside the blocks. Now the fox is between the blocks. Okay, now sing that with me. Now the rocks are inside the box. Now the rocks are outside the box. And the fox is beside the blocks. Now the fox is between the blocks. Great work, everybody. Let's review. Above. Below. In front of. Behind, inside, outside, beside, between. Hi! Okay, everybody. The English language has many words like this. Oh, so many words. And every word can be split into parts. We call these parts. Syllables. Syllables. A word could have one, or two, or three, or four, or even more syllables. Syllables. Could a word have one million syllables? No, that is too many syllables. What about four syllables? Yes, I already said that. Ha, no more questions. Anyway, a syllable is like a beat. Do you know what a beat is? Drummer, please play a beat. Thank you. That is a good beat. You can make a beat by clapping your hands. Now get those hands up. Let's practice one beat. Okay, ready? Here we go. Clap. Ho ho. Now let's try it with some words. We start with the easy ones. Words with one syllable and therefore one beat. The first word is Dog. 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 It's a dog. Ha ha. Good girl. Now everybody clap your hands to make one beat when I say the word dog. Okay, ready? Here we go. Dog. 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 Hey. <laughs> Good job. Next, we'll try a word with Two syllables. Apple. 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 It's an apple! Huh, thank you. The word apple has two syllables and therefore two beats. It's kind of like it's split into two parts, like this. <laughs> the first part is app, and the second part is pull. Now everybody, clap your hands and make a beat when I say each part of the word, apple. Okay, ready? Here we go, app, pull. App, pull. App, pull. App, pull. App, pull. App, pull. Yay! <laughs> You're doing great. Next we will try a word with three syllables. Ladybug. Ladybug. Ladybug! Ladybug! I said ladybug! Wow, that is a big ladybug. The word ladybug has three syllables and therefore three beats. It's kind of like it is split into three parts. <laughs> the first part is le, the second is d, and the third part is a bug. Now everybody clap your hands and make a beat when I say each part of the word 
Ladybug. Okay, ready? Here we go. Ladybug. 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 Good job. <laughs> and finally, we try a word with four syllables. Salamander. 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 It's a salamander. Oh, hi, salamander. The word salamander has four syllables and therefore four beats. It's kind of like it is split into four parts. Ow. The first part is sal. The second part is a. Uh. The third part is man. And the last is der. Now everybody clap your hands and make a beat when I say each part of the word salamander. Okay, ready? Here we go. Sal a man der. Sal a man der. Sal a man der. Sal a man der. Salamander. Salamander. Oh, yeah. Wow! That's it for now! Until next time, see you later! How do you spell one? How do you spell two? T W O how do you spell three? T H R E E. How do you spell salamander? S A L A. Salamander is not a number. I know. But this is a song about numbers. Well, I know, but it's also a song about spelling. What's wrong with salamanders? Nothing, but it's a numbers song. Well, I think you're hurting its feelings. Poor salamander. Anyway. Let's get back to it. How do you spell four? F-O-U-R How do you spell five? F-I-V-E How do you spell six? S-I-X how do you spell salamander? You have to stop doing that. But it's so fun. I don't think so. Can we please be serious? So how do you spell seven? S-E-V-E-N How do you spell eight? E-I-G-H-T and how do you spell nine? N I N E. How do you spell ten? T E N. How do you spell salamander? <sighs> That's it. We are trying to sing a spelling the number song, and you keep talking about salamanders. A salamander is not a number. It's an amphibian. Amphibian. If you want to sing a song about salamanders, then well, why don't you make your own song and sing it about Salam salamanders? Um. Oh, okay. Good idea. Salamander. It's not a number, it's an amphibian, it's an amphibian. Salamander is not a number, it's an amphibian, it's an amphibian. Yeah. Under, against, on, over, under, against, on. Keep on listening to this song about over, under, against, on. The frog is over the log. 
Just like the log is under the frog Now the frog is against the log Now the frog is on the log I think we should sing it again But this time you should sing with me The frog is over the log Just like the log is under the frog Now the frog is against the log Now the frog is on the log Far from near, next to, among, far from near, next to, among. Keep on listening to this song about far from near, next to, among. The goose is far from the moose. The goose is near the moose. And now the goose is next to the moose. And now the goose is among the moose. I want to hear it again. I want to hear you do it with me. The goose is far from the moose. The goose is near the moose And now the goose is next to the moose And now the goose is among the moose I like singing with you, let's review Over Under Against On Far from Near Next to I'm on. I am thinking about cats. I'm thinking about cats. <coughs> the cat does not like the ball. The cat doesn't like the ball. Where is the cat? There is the cat. Where's the cat? There's the cat. Let us review. I am, I'm, does not, doesn't. Where is, where's, there is, there's.
win, win, win. The story needs a win, like this morning or on Tuesday or back then. Oh, why, why, why? The story needs a why, like because you missed the bus or because they wanted to fly. Five W's, five W's, you can't tell a story without five W's. Hey everyone, I'm here for the song. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Where did everybody go? Into, out, up, through, around. Into, out, up, through, around. Sing along. To these sounds about Into, out, up, through, around The mouse is going into the house Now the mouse is going out of the house Now the mouse is going through the house Now the mouse is going around the house Let's sing that one more time But this time, you sing it with me The mouse is going into the house Now the mouse is going out of the house Now the mouse is going through the house now the mouse is going around the house. Toward past, up, down. Toward past, up, down. Sing along to these sounds about. Toward past, up, down. The square is going toward the chair. Now the square is going past the chair. And the bear is going up the stairs. Now the bear is going down the stairs. Okay, now sing that with me. Hoo. The square is going toward the chair. Now the square is going past the chair. And the bear is going up the stairs. Now the bear is going down the stairs. Great work, everybody. Let's review. Into. Out of. Through. Around. Toward, past, up, down. If you're going to Plot Mountain, you gotta start somewhere. We'll call this the introduction. And guess what happens there? You describe the characters and the settings. That's who, what, when, and where. The characters are the people that are there. What do they look like? Why should we care? And the setting is the place where they be. What exactly do the characters see on their way to Plot Mountain? At the start of Plot Mountain, you're gonna have to go up. We call this the rising action, and here starts the plot. There's a conflict in the story, you should describe exactly what. Like a character has a problem to work through with themselves or the world, what should they do? Or maybe there's some big arguments, or some dramatic natural events on the way up Clot Mountain. Keep going up Clot Mountain. Until you reach the top We call this the climax And here you cannot stop You must face the biggest problem That leads to a turning point Here the story is the most intense With emotions, drama, and suspense But action like this cannot stay The story must change and go a different way On the top of Cloud Mountain After the top of Plot Mountain, you're gonna start to go down. We call this the falling action, and it lasts until flat ground. There's still action in the story, but it will start to slow down. So the worst is over, yeah, the worst is through, but now what will the characters do? There are still some problems, how long will they last? And don't forget the ending is coming fast on the way down Plot Mountain. 
After climbing down Plot Mountain, well, it's got to end somewhere. We call this the resolution, and what will happen there? You should answer all the questions until you are aware that the conflicts in the story from before aren't there anymore. Unless there's going to be a sequel or a part two, and then you'll have to think, what will the characters do the next time on Plot Mountain? It has come to my attention that some people think a salamander is a number. This is not true! A salamander is not a number. It is an amphibian. An amphibian looks like this, or this, or even this. A number looks like this, or this, or even this. Oh. Even though a salamander may have one mouth, two eyes, or 17 spots, a salamander is still not a number. It is an amphibian. Try not to be confused! Even if a salamander or many salamanders make the shape of a number, it is not a number. Please pay attention! Even if a salamander, while wearing a tiny hat with a number on it, tells you I am a number! It is still not a number. It is an amphibian. Underlined. Thank you. Salamander is not a number. It's an amphibian. It's an amphibian. Salamander is not a number. It's an amphibian. It's an amphibian. Salamander is not a number. It's an amphibian. It's an amphibian. Salamander is not a number. It's an amphibian. It's an amphibian. Hi, I am a period. We have a book. A book? Really? I love books! What is the book about? Us. I love us! What do you think, comma? I like cookies, cupcakes, and cucumbers. Can we read it out loud? I love loud! Ah! I can read it out loud. I'm really good at reading. What is that? I have no idea. I like cookies, cupcakes, and cucumbers. Semicolons, cupcakes, and cucumbers. Available worldwide wherever books are sold. <laughs>